I would say 90 or more people travel to get here and are, and are staying in the area, not staying at their own home. The, the basic science of what we're doing here, bringing one of each or a few of each of everything in here and creating the list that Patrick is in charge of and that he has been in charge of for 22 of the 24, 25 years of the voucher, the NAMA voucher oh, collection nice project. Um, it, it, it's some of the only data points that are in existence during those years that are reliable and consistent and he's going to make sure that they have uh, the correct name, uh, the, the most up-to-date name because you know mushroom names are changing all the time. And a hundred years from now, that's going to be a body of knowledge that has no other source. I'm Barbara Chang, president of the North American Mycological Association. A lot of good flavor in there, and I just I love puffballs. I mean, I see them; they look comical. Like, isn't it, like what even is this thing? <laughs> These are the big bulbous things all over, and they are all over in Wisconsin. So I take the water out and I bake them kind of low and slow, and I don't add any oil because they're just going to soak up. You're just like a sponge, you know. So I bake them basically dry, and then from there I take them and I'm going to put them into a food. One of the things I'll do is I'll put them in a food processor with a little bit of garlic and some tahini and a little bit of cumin and good glug of really good olive oil. The leaf is compound. Where did the leaf go? We got one here. There we go. So a compound leaf means when you pull it off like at the base of the leaf. So if I pull off this leaf at the base, it's a single leaf. This when you pull it off at the base um, where it connects with the stem, there's many leaflets on it. That's what makes a compound. This is a simple leaf. I just love the whole, like, you know, mushrooms and UV fluorescence phenomenon. I think it's just the coolest thing. Carefully extract the mushrooms. Carefully extract the mushrooms. Carefully extract the mushrooms. Note all the features that we discussed here. Uh, Compare it to several resources, books, online, social media, whatever. What have been some of the highlights so far? Uh, the hike with the junior mycologist Ronan this morning was a highlight. Being in the woods with a nine-year-old kid that's that sharp is is inspiring and really, really fun and actually really funny too. It's it's <laughs> hilarious how much that kid knows. Well, you know, there's been a huge surge in interest in foraging during COVID times, and I um, I hope that some of it is just driven by the fact that you know people are getting outside. Um, uh, but there has been a, a big surge in interest in medicinal plants, and people are looking for alternative. Uh, uh, medicine and also just alternative healthy food, you know, healthy diet is, uh, and uh, like a lot more people collecting wild blueberries and aronia and, and elderberries because of the, you know, the, the, the health implications. Well, there's been a lot of uh, cool things to see. Every pond right now has two swans on it. Mm -hmm. Some of these people have never seen swans before. Some of these people have never seen an oak tree bigger than this before. Mm -hmm. uh, some people were pretty surprised when I told them when we got into the woods that the next road was six miles away. <laughs> they had never heard of that. Right. Uh, uh, I think they were amazed at how silent it mean, A lot of bull eats, um, chanterelles, associated with oaks. Um, chicken in the woods. Hens. Yeah, chicken in the woods grows on a lot of things. So. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mushrooms are either mycorrhizal, which means they're in sort of a partnership with the tree, or they're saprobic, which means they're decaying mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So a lot of like the oysters and the chicken of the woods and stuff like that, they're decaying the wood of a dead or dying tree. Yeah, you know your product or is it know that name? Yeah. Um, and then this is polyphones excavatus. Probably, that'd be my best bet. No, I don't want 
that. My brother just sent me a picture. They were like delicious. Like go snack. smell it. Ew. Now I, 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 I'm not interested in celebrity or anything like that. I just like food. Sure. And I like, I mean, the, what's been so cool about the mushroom book and the mushroom stuff is it's just, it's connected me to this community full of really cool, interesting people to share it with, you know, it's not, that, that's really the best part of it all. as of right now is at about 225 which is excellent considering the dry conditions that we had in the woods so that's kind of exciting and, and that number will go up we've got some we've got two mushrooms that we can't identify right now even to genus and then a handful of just uh, plain and simple antelomas and things that, that are tough to identify accurately without some scope for even dealing with. I just think it was a beautiful event you know I think that people should you know get together and learn about things and have community and everything. And I think this is just a really excellent opportunity for that like deeper connection in the world to me.